gross. Ew. Hey y'all, it's Short and Stone, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canada advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, we are going to be getting into my top easy tricks for how you can clean your glass for any products that you're consuming, but stay tuned for some scary facts on bacteria growth that is definitely taking place in your glass currently. Join me as I take you on the challenge of cleaning both types of your glass, and I'll be showing you how to do this with basic household essentials. So let's see if we can get them sparkling clean. But before we get into my top cleaning methods and techniques, I want to share with you some scary bacteria growth facts about what's taking place in your glassware while you let it sit with water in it. Did you know standing water can start growing bacteria in as little as three hours? Now imagine what's happening in there when you leave your water in it overnight. In addition to bacteria growing in there, mold and mildew can even spawn if you leave your glass with water in it in a warm, moist environment. Man, you do not want to be inhaling that. Inhaling dirty water will not just affect your session in a negative way, but it'll negatively impact your health as well. Continually exposing yourself to water that has bacteria growth in it will only cause you a slew of health problems in the long run. And hey, we wanna stay puff until we croak, so I suggest you change your water and you clean. To prevent bacteria growth, you'll want to change your water every day. In between seshes, you'll want to deep clean it once a week, but at the very least once a month. Please, your lungs will thank you. But what else happens when you don't clean your rigs in your glass besides health problems? Well, your functionality of your pieces will start to decrease as more gunk and biofilm build up over time. This biofilm and bacteria buildup will also cause your taste to turn. It'll hit harsher and it won't be preserving the flavor as much as you wish. So why do people struggle with keeping their glassware clean? Look at mine, that's not clean at all. That whole centerpiece is amber. Well, I'll tell you, if you don't know how to properly clean it, it can be a daunting task. So I wanna break it down, easy steps for you, so you can keep your glass looking sparkly clean, but also help your lungs out as well. Whatever the reason, it's essential to keep the vessel that you're consuming product through clean. Make that our priority so you can enjoy all your experiences to the fullest. We are going to explore various methods and I'll include step-by-step -step instructions on how you can use household essentials to get your rigs sparkling clean. One of the most effective and popular methods that I am always reaching for is the isopropyl alcohol and salt. But I will also be giving you a little second method, which is using vinegar and baking soda. This combined will create a reaction which will get all that biofilm and gunk off. We will be going over each method in detail so you can see which one will work for you. So stay tuned for step-by-step -step instructions. All right, we are in my kitchen. Let's get started. Let's go over the steps using the baking soda method. I do not have any vinegar in my household, so I'm just going to be letting you know. This is a backup method I use, just in case I'm traveling and don't have ISO on me, but baking soda and vinegar will obviously create a reaction and that will agitate inside the glass itself and get off all the residue, biofilm, resin, etc. You just add a little bit of baking soda first to the bottom of your rig, and then you pour in some vinegar, let us do its magic, dump it out, do a rinse, let it dry, bada bing, bada boom. Pretty self-explanatory. I think that method's cool because it's like a science project. But again, I keep majority ISO on me just because that's what you use, what I use almost daily to spot clean a lot of my rigs. So I'm going to be walking you through the method I most use, but I had to let you know my backup method again because I think not a lot of people know about it. Step one, discard of the old water. If you have plants, consider this extra nutrients for them if you'd like to share. Step 
two, we are going to fill both of the glasses with isopropyl alcohol. This is 99%. I definitely suggest 90% and above. 70% and below, especially for e-rigs, can damage the components. It's because of the water content. Look who's playing with my tripod. The newest member of our fur family, Ursa. Now, when it comes to filling smaller rigs, I definitely suggest getting a funnel. Step three is going to be add your salt to your bigger glass pieces. Small e-rig tops like this, I do not add coarse salt into because it's going to be such a time to get out of the intricate perks and slits in the glass. Now, for e-rigs tops, step number four. Ah, I'm missing a finger and I did step four and it's only three. <gasps> step number four is going to be let them sit or shake. Small tops like this where I did not add coarse salt, I'm gonna let it sit. Letting the ISO sit on the biofilm and res is going to let it dissolve slowly over time. But with something that has a lot thicker buildup and res, we are going to shake it, baby. There we go, I'll just let that soak to get the last little stuff off. We'll just agitate this a little bit. All right, we've been waiting. We're going to dump out our glass that has been soaking and shaken. All right, because I am cheap and I love being sustainable, I keep all of my dirty ISO, because guess what? Unless it's freaking black, it's still usable. Just the particles obviously stain it. I'll reuse this for other glass that isn't super dirty if I just want to still clean it, but I don't want to use my new new ISO. Does that make sense? And then the funnel comes back in handy because then it's really easy to put it back in here. Ho ho ho. All right, I'm just gonna jump the rest out and rinse it. Ooh, look at that. And then to clean the bowls and the down stems, I just fill a baggie with ISO and close it in one of the cabinets to let it hang. You're gonna let gravity do the work, baby. Now to get a resin out of the bottom, like in this top and the Puffco top, you're going to want to either use a blowtorch, a lighter, or a hairdryer and slowly, evenly, and while moving around, heat up the bottom till you can get the reclaim to drip out of the hole and, you know, save it. All right, we'll go clean this out. Then I'll see you back over on the couch and we'll do a fresh clean rip. Voila! Hopefully you learned something new and now your glass is sparkling clean. The most satisfying part is always when you rinse it out and you're all ready for a brand new sesh. Hopefully there is a sense of accomplishment for you, knowing that you've invested in taking care of your gear and your health. When you take pride in your gear, you take pride in yourself, baby. It's a small thing, but it makes a big difference. All right, we're gonna have some clean rips. Hey, remember, Always make sure your glass is dry at the attachment points before putting it on the electronic base. You don't want to ruin any components, but also if you have any product left in there, you don't want to get water on that either. This was a new kind of video for me, so let me know if you like tutorials or if you have ideas for any more that I can share with you. To recap, regular cleaning is essential and it only requires a few simple steps. By implementing the following methods, you can keep your glass and rigs in top conditions and enjoy the best experiences. And hey, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of me and comment, let me know below, what is your go-to cleaning method? And if you made it to the end of this video, comment ISO. Make sure to check out my last video on a guide of how you can shop at Dispose. And make sure to stay tuned for next week's video where I will be sharing a taste test of a rosin fly. Ooh, 
I'm so excited for that one. I post videos every Thursday and Saturday. So I'll be seeing you real soon. Can't wait to hang out. Peace. And if no one told you today, I appreciate you.